Andy Mogul. This week on Movie Quest, we go on a psychedelic trip from the safety of our vehicles and the crazy weight. Say hello to a puppet in Indie Tricks's Alley. Say hello. I'm not saying hello to a puppet. She'll be furious if you don't. Meet our one true love in reality dating show Gone Wrong. Try to hack into the YouTube partner mainframe in the first episode of The Disappearance, and go on a second psychedelic trip, Norwegian style, with the Silly Whitefish. Also featuring the work of Zombie Repellent Studio and Mr. Star Wars Fan 66. Chad's out sick and can't do the announcements, so let's let Duke Nukem introduce the show. Chad and Russell, you're both approved for awesomeness. This is Movie Quest. Welcome to Movie Quest this week, everyone. And that's the last time I'll be saying that for a little while. That's right. After 44 weeks, uh, 45 if you count that horrendous pilot I did, uh, Movie Quest is taking a little break, but only for a few weeks. As most of you know by now, I'll have a new show I'll be starting up next Friday, one where I'm actually going to try and be informative for once. But don't worry, because there will always be a place for mogul or made movies on this channel. Just needs to take a break while we produce the new show and get that ball rolling. But when we come back, either at the end of this month or early next month, we will resume playing even more of the videos you guys are making. And it won't just be limited to short films. We still want those, of course, and you can still continue submitting them to us at all the usual places. But now, we also want your DIYs, prop builds, VFX tutorials, vlog series, movie reviews, anything at all is welcome if it's entertaining. And by the time the show comes back, we'll be increasing the number of videos we show every week. And believe me, there are plenty of movies to still show. I still have somewhere around uh, 400, 500 videos to watch spanning the last few months. Uh, with the movies we'll be showing today, we're only barely into our March submissions. I could never have anticipated what a great response we'd receive from our filmmaking audience, and the truth is, I really do watch all of the entries in full in the order they're received. That's the whole reason it takes months to get back to people, because you know, I end up sending full reviews and critiques back to at least half of the people who send something in, and it takes forever. When I started Movie Quest last summer, there was an uncertainty about what exactly the show should be about. Uh, at first, it was just a gathering of themed videos, most of them already pretty big hits from the likes of Freddy W or College Humor, which I was fine with when we started, but about a month into it when BFX ended and a few weeks after that when it seemed like we were the only show left on the channel, I realized the show needed something different and to give back to the indie mogul community in some way. And it was the changeover to all mogul or made movies that I feel really made a difference, helping lesser known channels get their movies seen by a larger audience audience so everyone can see what great unseen talent is out there in the crowded pool that is YouTube. It's been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life discovering great filmmakers like Willem Cernay, Too Lazy to Live, Ephesus, and Unrendered Media. Finding young and or up and coming filmmakers that I expect great things from in the future like Arjun Cinema, Hammer Productions, Andrew Kim, and Mr. Special Idea. Not to mention all those we've gotten to know over on our live show every Wednesday. James Jumbao and Rowan Jacobs from last week's show came from there, along with many other great people. And it was the number of newer filmmakers that I've spoken to and given advice to over the last few months that inspired the new show that I'll be doing. Young or old, if they were just getting into the film game and had any questions, it felt great being able to help them out. Even those with experience who may have just been wondering about some aspect they didn't know as well, uh, were fun to connect with. And that's the new show. That's what I'll be doing this time next week. And I hope you enjoy it. Remember that if you have any questions or need any advice, you can send those questions to me still by email at heykillerfilms at gmail.com. And once more, Movie Quest will be off for a few weeks, but never fear, we will be back. So keep those submissions coming in. And real quick, uh, just before getting to the playlist for this week, I have to thank Andrew Kim from the channel WMAI Students for getting those voiceovers for this week's intro from the voice actor who played Duke Nukem, John St. John. Hey Russell, I understand you're tying the knot pretty soon. You sorry b I can't tell you how awesome that is to hear, especially having been a huge fan since I was like 12. And of course, thank you to Blink Farm for this week's background, which still can't tell if it's really tagged or not, uh, but for legal purposes, I'm gonna assume that it's photoshopped. For legal purposes. Our first movie this week comes to us from the channel Nathan B. Foisey, which is a lot of fun to say. It's called The Crazy Weight. It's a very trippy, very strange movie. We've got quite a few of those in the playlist today. So this is as perfect a starting point for this playlist as, uh, as we could get. Which we're now at. Here's the playlist. Hit the button over on the right hand side. If you're wondering where Chad is this week, he has come down with a stomach virus. So he's had throat ailments, sleeping problems, stomach virus. The guy can't win. But don't worry, he'll still be a correspondent for the new show, and uh, we'll have him back on once the show returns in a few weeks. So I'll be handling all the playlist duties, but as usual, if you want to give Chad any well wishes, that's his Facebook, right there. If anybody wonders what the title of the new show is going to be, it's... 
got something to do with being on Friday, and I want to emphasize that they're the kind of things you might learn in a filmmaking 101 class. So I'll let you guys stew on that for the week. But for now, as Rowan Jacobs would say, click the damn button. <laughs>